Uh, the first time I went to, I came to Finland was about two years ago. Um, and I was following uh, Patrick Virta and Tomo Rajunanen, who played for TPS in Turku. And um, I drove to Turku to see them because there were a range of prospects. Um, and while I was there, some, some fans were telling me about uh, like the, a, a young kid they had, uh, and it was Capo Kako. And I started following him because I like following prospects in general. Um, and then the, the first year I didn't really see a lot of his games, but the second year when he was in the under 18s, uh, and the World Juniors, that's when I really started to follow him and TPS played in the Champions Hockey League so they played a game uh, in Germany and I got to see him there and I, uh, I traveled all the way up to uh, this one city in Finland that I cannot remember the name of. Uh, the team plays in like orange jerseys. Hamelina. Hamelina, yeah, yeah, that's the one. Uh, so I went to a game there um, and then I followed him uh, I saw him at a game at the World Juniors in Canada when I was there um, for the Carlson Games in the Czech Republic in, in May. And uh, I was just flying around to see not just him but other prospects as well. And then I flew to Vancouver for the draft uh, because the Rangers had the second overall pick. And as a Rangers fan I was really excited because everyone said that Kako was going to be the second overall pick after Jack Hughes. Uh, so I had a banner made that listed like the cities where I saw him play and the kilometers I traveled. And um, uh, when I got to Vancouver, um, I actually I had the banner with me. And uh, Kako, I met him the month before in the Czech Republic, where he signed some pucks for me. And uh, when he he saw me in Vancouver, he immediately walked up to me because he recognized me, and we took some pictures, and uh, which was really cool. And then I think the next morning I woke up and I had uh, messages from my uh, Finnish friends all over Facebook saying, oh, there's like this article on the Finnish media about you. And I didn't even realize that they were taking pictures. And, um, but yeah, that's how I started following Kapo Kako. And I'm just really lucky that the Rangers actually drafted him and uh, that they were in a position to draft him because the Rangers have not had a, big, had a high pick, a pick this high in like 50 years. So it's really good for the Rangers that they have a high pick like this. And I'm really happy that they picked Kako Kako. So when you started following Kako, what were the things that you liked about his game? Um, well, for such a young player, he was very strong on the puck. He, um, he like pushed players off the puck, even when he played in Liga. Um, and now that he plays in the NHL, it's something you see as well. He just he hangs on to the puck. And I'm not saying he's going to be as good as him, but he reminds me of Jaromir Jager in that way that he just, when he, whenever he has the puck, it's almost impossible to get him off the puck. Um, and that's completely different from Jack Hughes, who was drafted by the New Jersey Devils, who is much smaller and you know, needs a little bit more time to develop. Kapo Kako is like a grown man already, even though he's only 18. This is quite an intense and, I would guess, expensive hobby for someone. Uh, yeah, it is, but some people collect stamps, you know, other people uh, buy an old car and spend 5,000 euros to fix it up, and this is my hobby. I mean, uh, I don't just do it for hockey. When I, when I travel to a new place, I also like to, you know, see, like, so do some sightseeing. Uh, just outside Lulio is like this ch old church town that's on the UNESCO World Heritage List that I went to visit. First time I was in Helsinki, uh, I took a boat to Sion and Lina. Uh, so every time I go to a new city, I do like to do more than just a hockey game. Uh, but I love to travel. And if I can combine travel with my other big hobby, which is hockey, it's just perfect and well worth the money. You're a Dutch living in Austria. How did New York Rangers steal your heart? Uh, that's, that's a question that I've been asked a lot. Um, when I was little, I was watching some TV and uh, I, when I would come home from school, I watched this, uh, this TV station called Screensport. Uh, they went bankrupt and later it became Eurosport, which 
more people will probably recognize. Uh, and they were showing some highlights of NHL games in the early 90s. Um, and I was watching them every day I came home from school. And um, I found it weird that the New York Rangers were, uh, were a team that didn't have a logo on their jersey like every other t team does. Um, so that's the reason I started to follow them. I was seven years old and you know, I thought that was weird, so I started following the Rangers. But, yeah. And that was, that was about 26, 27 years ago. And I've stuck with the team since. So.